Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about man in the middle attack in DES. We can say data encryption standard topic of network security. Before discuss about this topic, first of all we will discuss what is man in the middle attack. Man in the middle or we can say meet in the middle attack is a common type of security attack that allows attacker to erase drop on the communication between two users. Whenever two users uh, in the same network communicate with each other or we can say it is in different network communicate with each other at that time uh, some of the person or we can say attacker or hacker can uh, read uh, and modify that messages during the communication. So it is called man in the middle attack. So the how it attack take place the attack take place in between two users allowing the attacker to listen to a conversation but uh, both the user cannot allow that attacker but attacker can join this conversation without knowing of user or without permission of users hence the name is called man in the middle now here is one analogy uh, there are two users one is Alice and second one is Bob both are uh, communication with each other so here uh, we can say Alice and Bob are having a conversation with each other here Darth or we can say attacker or hacker wants to erase drop or try to capture the messages on the conversation but also remain transparent. So Alice and Bob both don't have an idea about attacker can attack or uh, try to listen messages of that conversation. So Darth could tell Alice that he was Bob and tell Bob that she was Alice. Uh, we can say Darth give the identity uh, as a Bob to the Alice and during communication with Bob it gives the identity as Alice. So this would lead Alice to believe she is speaking to Bob and while actually revealing her part of the conversation to the Darth. So we can say whenever Alice uh, try to send a message to the Bob so Darth capture the message, read the message and modify the message. So Alice uh, think that uh, she is already sent message to the Bob and same um, uh, this message is modified by the Darth and sent to the Bob. Whenever Bob reply to the Alice message, so it is captured by the Darth and modified by the Darth and sent to the Alice. So Alice and Bob don't have an idea about that. Uh, there is one attack in between the communication. So Darth could then gather the information from this conversation and alter the responses and pass the messages along to Bob who think he is talking to Alice. So we are already discussed about that. Uh, as a result Darth is able to transparently hijack their conversation. So this is one scenario of the man in the middle attack. Before discuss about man in the middle attack in DES I have to discuss about DES data encryption standard algorithm. As per DES algorithm, there will be only one secret key is used for encryption and decryption because DES is symmetric cipher algorithm. As per double DES algorithm, two keys are used for K1 and K2 for the encryption process and also both keys used K1 and K2 for the decryption process. Now see in this block diagram, this is original plain text. Uh, there are two encryption processes take place uh, in, in original plain text. So first of all original pen, plain text is encrypted using K1 key and it generate first ciphertext temporary result T and then again encryption process is start of the DS and uh, input is uh, ciphertext 1 uh, we can say temporary result T and input is K2 key and it generates ciphertext 2. So as per shown in figure when generate first ciphertext with the help of plain text message and key K1 we have already discussed. Now resultant ciphertext will be stored ciphertext C1 will be captured by the attacker. Now see in this diagram uh, this is original plain text encryption algorithm is applied and first ciphertext C1 is generated or we can say temporary result T. So it is captured by the attacker. So attacker can get original plain text. If he or C will modify the plain text and generate new ciphertext C1 using key K1 and send for another encryption process using key K2. Now see in the figure, uh, attacker get the original plain text, uh, attacker change the plain text and uh, it is again encrypted using K1 key and send to the second encryption process. So uh, it will be again encrypt using the K2 key and generate ciphertext or we can say final ciphertext and send to the receiver. 
Second encrypted ciphertext sent to the receiver. Receiver will decrypt that final ciphertext. So receiver side plain text is same as attacker plain text, not the sender side plain text. So this type of attack is called the meet in the middle attack or we can say man in the middle attack in DES. Now how can we detect man in the middle attack? We cannot easily detect man in the middle attack. So we need to prevent man in the middle attack before the communication. So how to prevent from man in the middle attack? First of all, use to strong WEP or WOP encryption on access point on your wireless router or your, uh, on your hotspot. You have to use WEP encryption or WOP encryption or check any other user are connected with your hotspot or uh, Wi-Fi. Second one, strong router login credential. If your login credential of your router is very weak, so anyone can uh, join your router and attack on your conversation. Third one, virtual private network. So VPN is provide more security or give a secure environment during the LAN communication. Use of HTTPS. Whenever you want to send your data on the different network or on internet, at that time you have to use HTTPS. HTTPS gives the more security. So your data or your public key or your conversation is encrypted with the good encryption functions. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube Chirag Balodia. Press bell icon to get new video notification. Follow my blog Edu Resources. Thank you.